Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal and during this video today I'm going to share with you how to get your real estate license in the province of Ontario, Canada. We're going to go over the costs associated with getting your real estate license and specifically what the material looks like so you have a better idea of the study requirements. Many of you are probably wondering what the total fee is going to be from the time that you start studying to the point when you're ready to go ahead and sell a home and the cost will be uh, $7,550 which includes pre-registration, registration, registration, and post-registration. Of course, it's not going to um, cover the cost of you choosing a brokerage because brokerages will have different desk fees and startup fees up front. The first thing you wanna do is head over to humber.ca slash real estate and apply for the program. Uh, the application will cost you $75. And with respect to the admission requirements, pretty low barrier to entry. They are that you are a Canadian resident, you're of 18 years of age, and that you have a high school diploma or equivalent credential. Um, even if you don't have a high school diploma, there is an application which you can do on the humber.ca website and they will pretty much determine if you're a good fit for the industry. So after the application fee, we have our cost for the course, also known as e-learning, that's $3,190. And if you go on the website, they've actually done a really good job breaking this down, you understand what you're paying for. And the great news is that payment is not due upfront. You pay for it as you go about the courses. So for example, course one, the cost is $525 and the course one exam costs $100. And um, even if you go and browse through the courses, you get an idea as far as uh, the study duration range and the recommended time it, it will take you to complete each exam. Um, as an illustration, look at course two here, we can see that the average duration is 150 hours. So they recommend you take 10 weeks aside in order to complete all this material. Many people do as well consider course two to be the hardest, but um, I truly don't believe any of this material is that hard, especially if you have a high school diploma or better yet, college experience, university experience, the exams, they're fairly easy. There are multiple choice in most cases. It's just the fact that it is a very big time investment and you have a lot of material to get through. Courses one through four, they have an exam. Course five does not have an exam. And in addition to that, you have two simulations. And what the simulations are, are they are uh, practical simulation sessions that allow people to actually apply their knowledge to real life scenarios in a safe environment. So I think this is great in that they're giving you the practical education along with the general rules and fundamentals so you can be safe as a realtor and conduct business in a professional manner. So here's a complete breakdown of the cost. We can see that the e-learning and the courses come out to be $3,190 and the exams including the simulations are going to come out to $500 and that's assuming that you have passed all the exams on your first attempt. If it's such that you have to redo an exam because you have failed, which of course happens, that's an additional $100 and if you need to reschedule your exam for any reason, that is an additional $50. So this whole pre-registration, this is like the bulk of pretty much the whole licensing process. This is where all the hard work is done. And this is the part of it which takes time. Generally will take people anywhere between four to six months. And I realize that a lot of you are likely going to be the ambitious type that think, Michael, you watch, I'm gonna get my license in two months. And I hate to break it to you, but it's likely not going to happen. And this isn't due to your inability to study. More so, it's that you often have to wait until exams are available, until simulations are available. I've often spoken to people and they were like ready to book their exam, but it was such that they had to wait because the soonest exam was like a couple of weeks away. And so these delays do of course add up unfortunately. A few things worth noting. First, as soon as you gain access to course one, you have 24 months from that time in order for you to successfully complete all five courses as well as the two simulations. And for courses one, two, three, and four, you're allowed a maximum of five months for each course. And as for course five, you're allowed a maximum of one month. So the total cost for pre-registration is $3,765. And now let's look at the cost for registration. Um, and this process doesn't require you studying. It just pretty much is a bunch of fees that you have to pay in order for you to be actively licensed. So this includes your police check, this will be 40 to $60. It's going to include your RICO licensing fee. This is $590 upfront, but do note that this does cover your first two years. There's an errors and emissions licensing fee, which is $445, that's an annual payment. There are initiation fees for both CREA and Aurea. This is $400 and this is a one-time payment. You don't have to pay it the following year, but you do have your annual dues with CREA and Aurea. This ends up being $420 and in 
addition to this, assuming that you're a part of the Toronto Real Estate Board, like I'm a member of the Toronto Real Estate Board, there's a $460 one-time fee for your TREB registration. And then you have your annual membership. So your TREB membership is $860. And the sum of all these costs ends up being $3,215. So in summary, so far we have part one pre-registration, which is $3,765. We have part two, which is $3,215 for registration. And on part three, we have post-registration. And what that looks like is taking a required compliance course, which is $300. And then you are required to choose two electives out of uh, five possible choices. So you can choose the two that appeal to you most and they cost $135 each. So what post-registration costs look like are $300 for the mandatory course and then two times $135, that's $270, which equals $570. You will add up to $7,550. Like I mentioned, the great news is you don't have to pay this money up front. You will pay for it as you go about the courses and the curriculum. Uh, the next step after this is to select a brokerage that you're comfortable with as far as uh, what the brokerage has to offer, their commission splits, their fees, what sort of training and value that they're providing you as a new agent. I spent seven Great years at Remax prior and I switched over to eXp last year and I've increased my business. And furthermore, if you do join me here at eXp Realty, I am happily going to share with you my real estate course that I've designed specifically for helping agents to go from being a brand new agent to being somebody making $100,000 easily because I've done it. I know you can do it. I earned about $270,000 of gross commission my first year being in the business. So what I've done is I've come up with a video course that covers the whole A through Z of selling real estate, can you succeed as a part-time agent, what to do the first 60 days to jumpstart your career, door knocking, buying online leads, red flag buyers. This video course will make you successful. So contact me regarding that and joining eXp. I know that you can have a very successful and fulfilled career being in the residential real estate industry, provided that you have some great mentors and role models. So if you want to learn more about that, then do contact me. My contact information is in the description box below. And if you did get value from the video, consider subscribing and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.